Hey y'all, it's Basaka, and today I'm going to be doing a little get to know me slash get ready with me kind of vibe. It's been a long time since I've done my makeup since we're in this kind of like quarantine situation. So I wanted it to be fun, play with some colors, do some makeup, take some pictures. So this is a look I came up with. If you want to see me doing this look and if you want to see me answer some questions, get to know me, all that cute stuff, um, stay tuned. start on my base so I'm using the Cody Airspun powder and I'm doing this technique this foundation technique that's been pretty viral lately but it's like like one of those pro makeup tip type of drums and it's like you have your moisturizer on which I have on I just have some like shea butter and after that well after you've let your moisturizer kind of sink into your skin a little bit and let it sit you powder your face with a loose powder, but I think you can probably use a pressed powder too. I think loose powder is just probably better because it's like finer, so it kind of gets in your pores. I think that might be like one of the benefits of this step, kind of filling in the pores a little. And also absorbing any excess moisture from your moisturizer. Oh wait, I think I should put a little extra on my nose because I get super oily. My skin type is like combination. Wow, well, I think I just fucking fluffed so much loose powder in my eye. Oh my god, my eyes red. Pretty pretty. Okay. It's fine. Anyway. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, okay, yeah. Anyway. My skin type is combination. I'm like mostly normal everywhere except for like my T-zone. It gets mad oily. Um, and in the summer, I'm just like oily everywhere. There's no avoiding the oil. So now once you put the powder, you're supposed to add, well not, well yeah, add. You're supposed to spray some like setting spray. This is the City Color Matte Setting Spray. And this is to like absorb. Ooh, that feels good on my head. Oh, I like that. That was nice. Um, but yeah, the setting spray is to like absorb the powder so it's not too powdery. And then we are going to use a primer. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Something was on my hands. Okay. But yeah, so. The final step of this like pro tip is primer. I'm pretty sure I got the order right. I might be wrong. Yep, just doing my brows, filling it in lightly. And then I'm gonna use a, a brow spoolie to spoolie it out. I'm literally just using an old mascara wand because we use reduce recycle you feel me <laughs> boom all right the brows are kind of finished not really um i'm gonna fix them up more with brow gel and all that cute stuff but i primed my eyes with this concealer it's the elf hydrating camel concealer i'm gonna use this like medium-ish brown shade all right so as we're doing this transition color, I'll spit in some, some questions. So I have some questions from Instagram, and I also have some random like get to know me questions. I'm gonna do a mix of both. So first question is, how old are you? So I'm 20, I'm turning 21, April 29th, you know the vibes, okay? Yes, yeah, so I'm a Taurus, sun, but I'm an Aries Taurus cusp in like sidereal astrology. And I'm an A I'm an Aries in most sidereal astrologies. There's a lot of different astrologies, but my sun sign is Taurus slash Aries. Whatever. 
What is your favorite movie? Oh my god, my favorite movie has to be Pulp Fiction. I love Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, Rush Hour, The Matrix. Yeah, those are all great movies. I love those movies so much. They're so freaking good. I remember when I first watched Pulp Fiction, I was so shook. Like, first of all, Uma Thurman playing Mia Wallace, iconic, literally iconic. Cause I remember I was first really introduced to Uma Thurman through that movie. And when I saw her in other movies, I was like, whoa, she looks so freaking different. And that really inspired me. I was like, wow, like you can change what you look like at any time and you can look any way you want. And I know she was an actor, so like that was kind of her job, but you know, me, as a young one, I was like, oh snap. Like, I could switch it up, change it up, look and sound and do whatever the hell I want. So that was really, really dope for me to see, especially like a woman doing that shit. I was like, she is fucking dope. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a blue teal kind of vibe. I feel like that's, that's my vibe right now. So I'm gonna go into this blue shade here it's really pretty so a tip that i do is i take the color that i'm using and i take a little bit of the transition color i mix them together so that way it it's easier of a blend so, let's get into it and let's get into another question mm, 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 mm. i'm gonna take a question from instagram so we can go back and forth okay how are you keeping sane during this quarantine um, <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't really know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I really am. But it's hard. The reason why I was like so hesitant to answer the question before is because I'm not really saying too sane during this quarantine because it's been a very introspective time for me. So like, since it's so introspective, I've just realized a lot about myself that I feel like I want to work on and change and shit and you know I've realized that because I don't believe in myself um, and I'm not confident in myself I don't stick to shit because I feel like I have a fear of rejection and failure and just all those things I'm just trying to be confident in myself and just be like you know what I'm doing what I want you know and I'm, I'm believing in myself and I'm not playing myself because I'm I'm the only one stopping myself. I'm the only one present preventing myself from doing all the things that I know that I can do and doing the things that I know I want to do. So like, yeah, I'm just trying to really work on myself this quarantine and be gentle to myself too because all this introspection also is very like, it, it's not all you know the greatest because i get really self-critical and then i make these realizations i'm like damn how long were you living like this but then that's when i gotta come in and be like hey be kind because you know i'm still fucking young and there's so much for me to learn and it's not like there's a fucking instruction manual for any of this shit so i'm just trying to be kind to myself in the process of making myself better you feel me so yeah have i been staying sane this quarantine i hope so i guess <laughs> i guess but i feel like this quarantine is needed for me and a lot of people like we've just been so busy as a collective just doing so much and go 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 and i think this was the sit down that we needed and the slow down that we needed like hey bitch <gasps> whoops like hey bitch what is up what are you doing what are you actually doing what do you actually want I feel like this quarantine has asked me so many questions that were really important for me i think i'm gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper blue, like a mm, actually, no, I think I'm gonna go in with a purple. Oh, that is so freaking pretty. What? Oh, I'm excited. Let's see how this layers. Oh, my 
to you off the bat, but let's give the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna blend it. It's fine. Okay, so as I'm trying to fix this purple, <laughs> um, let's answer another question. So this question says, what do you like slash slash mm. What do you like slash dislike about natural and bold looks? So natural and bold like makeup looks. Um what I like about natural looks, I like that it's just kind of an enhancement, like a quick little just like boost. Um and it it doesn't take away from like an outfit, I feel like. Um I feel like if I'm wearing like a really dope outfit I'm, like casually I usually try to do my makeup a little bit more natural so that the outfit can really stand out. So I really like that about natural looks. And plus natural looks are a lot, um, okay. they're a lot easier and faster than bold looks of course. So I like that too. Although I really do like taking my time with makeup, bold looks just take a lot of time um and yeah i like bold looks because it gives me more room to express though like i can do more with bold looks you know what i'm saying like i can use more colors you know be more abstract um i just kind of think outside the box more which I, I really do like about bold looks it just takes a lot more time and a lot more patience which I don't necessarily dislike like sometimes I'm in the mood to really go all out and take my time with my makeup um, but sometimes it can get frustrating because like you'll envision a look a certain way and then it comes out different and you're just like well fuck my idea like fuck my um, fucking vision but it just be like that you know because makeup is just an art you know what i'm saying like it's literally just an art and just like any other art like it's unpredictable you know you can't always control the outcome you can't always control what it ends up why is the side purpley i'm confused <laughs> that's happened to another color or something Cause this looks well it looks purpley pink and here it just looks brown okay maybe this is a sign to put in some pink <laughs> so we'll see that but but yeah bold looks you just never really know where you're going sometimes even when you have a set plan because sometimes it just goes a different direction like right now but i'm kind of digging it honestly this purple pink blue vibe which is fine Ooh. You see, it's sometime I with bold looks. It takes you somewhere. Like, I didn't intend this. I wanted it to be, like, all blue and just, like, a little bit of depth. But now it's, like, a, a cute little peacocky vibe or something. I don't know, but I'm thinking. It's cute. It's real cute. What palette is the best that you've ever used? Huh. That's hard. I haven't used that many makeup palettes. Like, the James Charles palette and this one that I have from Morphe which is like the 35M palette. These are the first like big palettes I've ever gotten. A friend gifted gift to me. Um but I always use like Wet n Wild palettes and Elf palettes and those were always really good to me. I always loved Elf palettes, Forever 21 palettes because I love bronzy metallic eyeshadow. I feel like it's so easy to look good with a metallic shade. Um, but I guess my best palette is probably this one, this James Charles one, because literally every color you could think of. And I like that it has like mattes and shimmers. So yeah, I would say this palette. My worst habit. Ooh. I would say my worst habit is waking up and going on my phone right away. Oh, I think my... <laughs> My fucking partner would agree with me. My worst habit is not emptying out my pockets. He fucking hates that shit. Oh my god. I do not empty out my pockets. And like, he'll wash our clothes and there's like fucking lip balm on everything. Because I didn't empty out my pockets. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm trying to work on it. 
trying to work on it. Can't really work on it that much because I don't really go out anymore because of the quarantine. Okay, so I basically just cleaned up the bottom. I curled my lashes and added a little, added a little bit of mascara. So now I'm going to move on to my face finally. So the two foundations I use are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and this is in Golden Beige. And I also use a little bit of the L'Oreal True Match in W7. Because I'm getting really tan. I don't know how. I've been inside. <laughs> but I'm getting really tan. Um, so I've been having to mix a darker foundation. I'm going to go on and I actually want to contour first. This is the um, e.l.f. Camel Concealer, but this is in Deep Caramel. Um, I haven't contoured with a concealer in a while, so we're going to see how this goes. Wow, it's windy out. Alright, let's get to another question as I'm doing this base. Um, who are you? Wow, that's a loaded question. Um, that is a loaded question. Uh, who am I? I'm Vasaka. Um, that's my name. I'm Cambodian and Chinese. I was born in Cambodia, but I came here when I was really young, and I've lived in Philly pretty much my whole entire life. I um, lived in this literal same house almost my whole entire life. And um, I'm an artist. I do a lot of collage art. I love makeup. I love colors. I love graphic designing. Um, I'm into painting. I just really love the world of art. Um, my heart lies a lot in film, whether it be acting or script writing or videography. I just love cinema. Love, love, love cinema so, so much. I love all things spiritual and I love challenging people and healing and helping people grow and being an ear and an, a hand and a shoulder and I just love helping people. My life path is a life path seven, and um, that's a very spiritual life path, which made so much sense when I first heard of it, because I spent my whole childhood just being super introspective and questioning everything. Like, I was that kid in class that always had their hand up with a question, with a question, with a question, and, like always asking adults, because I thought adults had all the answers. <laughs> But I was just always asking adults of their opinions and their answers or whatever. So, yeah, I would say my name is Saka. I'm an artist. I'm a healer, a lover. Um, yeah, I'm still figuring out. I really don't know who I am fully, to be quite honest. That's something that I'm still learning. Um, I'm learning every day who I am more and more which I think is beautiful, it's a beautiful process. And so, yeah, that's me, man. Conceal, wow, I'm not going to conceal. My God, I am going to. Set, wow, yeah, words really just escaped me right there. But I'm going to set my under eyes with the under eye powder from Elf. I really like this powder. For the longest time, I was using the Cody Airspun for my under eyes because everybody on YouTube was using it and everything. But I find that it's really heavy under my eyes and it makes my eyes look really dry. And this is a lot better for me personally. So look at that. Doesn't it look so snatched? Like, it's cute. I'm a fan. really bright though so I'm gonna go in this is the true match powder in W7 I'm just gonna grab it on a fluffy brush I'm just gonna go in and just 
just overall kind of go all over the face because I feel like this is a very warm powder so it helps add a little bit more life into my face yeah in terms of blush I'm gonna use a more cool tone blush because I feel like the eyes like are mostly cool tones so let's see mm -hmm. hmm one do y'all think I'm saying this like y'all can reply to me I'm indecisive I'm gonna okay so I'm so bad at doing my makeup and putting everything back where it was like I literally just have my makeup everywhere that's how I am with like all my art stuff like when I paint everywhere this kind of eyeliner before but never this shade this is in golden flower crown and it's 333b so i freaking have to buy it we love angel numbers and synchronicity this is really pretty it's like more golden which i think is so fucking cute i love golden highlighters you know i feel like this highlighter is really pretty and very glowy but i don't think it emphasizes my texture because i do have a lot of texture um i have acne prone skin and i had a lot of acne when i was younger so i have a lot of scarring and texture but i feel like this does not emphasize it which is really nice another question so oof, another loaded question we love it we love in-depth questions what do you want to do in life um and they also said answer how i wish like take it how i feel so um i feel like i really just want to be someone that helps people think more I I love being challenging and I love making people think outside the box whether it be the way that I just am or whether it be the way I interact and speak with people or the art that I make like I love making people think um, so yeah I think what I want to do with my life is just be a very critical thinker and help people also critically critically think um, and think in a way that's beneficial for them and their existence and the existence of humanity um yeah huh what is this what do you want to do in life i want to have a family um that's very open and talks and communicates with each other I want to be expressive. I want to be as expressive as I can in this life. Um, and that's another thing. Like I want to, I guess by example of being expressive, help people see that they can be expressive too. And being unapologetic in that expression as well. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Oh my god, this question is so freaking cute. What is your favorite thing about yourself? And there's a second part to it. So what is my favorite thing about myself is the first question. Um, my favorite thing about myself, I would say, is my creativity. I think that growing up, I didn't have... Um, all of the resources to really like I guess thrive um, so I don't know I remember doing school projects and being super resourceful and creative when it came to creating posters and creating like school 
projects in general, like I didn't have the resources of like getting all of the cool craft supplies, so I would just make do with what I had, and that just extended to me living as a human. Like I always was just very resourceful, whether it came to making meals and making certain flavors just work together, um, or you know being in a certain situation and thinking of a creative way to kind of troubleshoot you know i've i've always just been very creative and i love that about myself i love my creativity and i love it in you know art <laughs> i love my art and that's something that i didn't always feel because i've always been very critical but i love my art and i love all the different arts that i do um, i love my creativity i would say and I guess like a more physical thing I really love about myself is I love my hands. I love my hands. My hands are like my favorite feature on myself. And just feature on people in general. Like I literally have hands. Ooh, that just maybe. I literally have hands tattooed on me. I don't know if y'all can see them, but hands are just my favorite because like the gift of hands, you can literally do anything. And I just think that's so fucking beautiful and dope, so definitely hands the second part of the question so freaking cute what is your favorite thing about Dave and Dave is my partner the one that gets mad at me when I fucking push it in my pocket it'll take it out I'd be mad at me too <laughs> but my favorite thing about Dave I would say my favorite thing about him is his heart he's so loving and caring and compassionate like like his compassion runs so deep like he doesn't really hold grudges he's just very like willing to help people willing to listen willing to just kind of give people clean slates and i think that's so beautiful and something i really love about him and something that i am so inspired by and yeah so i love his heart his heart is so fucking beautiful and pure and He's amazing. I literally love him. It's grown. But yeah. That's my favorite thing about Dave. <laughs> um let's see. I'm trying to figure out what lip color to do. It's really hard to pick because it's such a bold look. I don't want to do anything too bold. I think I'm just doing like a pink, like a pink gloss. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just do a pink lipstick and then a gloss on top, like a metallic gloss. I think that would be super cute. So I'm just lining my lips. This is Jordana Tawny lip liner. And this is Jordana lipstick in Bear. Is that too warm of a pink? Just put a little bit more on to see if I like it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, another shade. Something else on top. I think I want it to be more purpley. Oh yeah, I like this. This is number forty-eight by Rimmel. Oh my god, I used to wear this color all the time in high school. It's not even funny. so crusty right now what the fuck do I have any more questions let me see mm. what's your favorite color my favorite color is I love all the colors honestly but my favorite color has always been green and they also asked if the exact shade. Yeah, my exact favorite shade. I don't know the name of it, but I could describe it and I can also put it on the screen. But it's just a very deep green blue, like kind of tealish, turquoise. Um, I love that kind of color. Oh my god. It's literally my favorite color. It's so pretty. And I love it because I just my well my two favorite colors have always been green and blue. And so 
it's just like a perfect mix of those two colors and i feel like that color just always makes me feel so beautiful like w when i wear it i just feel so gorgeous oh this is cute all right y'all so this is a look i'm about to go change and see what cuter looks top a little cute or whatever um and get some shots of the look all done okay see you in a second and we're back so i decided to add a little bit of eyeliner and um i actually did end up adding lashes because i was like looking at the look i'm like this looks looks so cute i might as well just add the whole type of gag the whole situation so yeah just put on a little jewelry put on a cute little shirt so yeah hopefully y'all like the look if y'all want to see more makeup looks let me know or whatever if y'all want to see me do an actual real tutorial let me know all right folks so that's all hopefully y'all like this if y'all did please subscribe let me know you liked it you know let's communicate and yeah that's all i have to say have a beautiful day stay blessed stay happy and stay beautiful bye what do you think i like it i like the colors that's dope. It took okay. me forever. I it was probably like a three hour video. Damn. Yeah. Okay, lip gloss. Yeah. Hey folks, this is Dave. I mentioned him in the video. I talked about my worst habit and I said that it's putting shit in my pocket and not taking it out. <laughs> that's so, so true. Yeah. So okay, that's the end of the video. I see y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>